Hello guys, Double Cross King here. Um, I'm gonna start up a series. It's gonna be called T N A I D. That's a T and then an N, and then instead of an A, it's A I D. No, not like the disease. The aid, like help. Um, it's called T N A D. Oh God, burp. Uh, it's called T N A D, and well, okay. TNA, I want to say that it's my favorite company. However, I can't stand the product right now, so I guess it's not my favorite, but it's the company I really, really want to succeed. Um, so that's why I want to do some videos like this, um, just talking about things. I think are wrong with TNA and um, maybe give my own little thoughts on it um, this first video is gonna be just the most recent thing I've been thinking of I've been thinking of TNA's international talent agreements um, I believe starting in I wanna say it was starting in like 08 you know it started with the uh, the New Japan Tokyo Dome show where they got to go there so they started to build a relationship with New Japan and then they were starting to build a relationship around World X Cup time with CMLL in Mexico um, uh, both you know good promotions you know both good in their own way um, and you know you get those varying styles um, and they had that going for a while uh, since then uh, you know, they haven't brought back the World X Cup, uh, so they haven't really needed to bring in a lot of talent at any one time. Um, their international talent is minimal. You know, the most international guy they have is Doug Williams, who's British. He's just British. <laughs> um, so, yep, yeah, sorry, lost track. Um, uh, so we got Mexico and Japan covered, which is right where they should be looking, you know, because I think that's something that TNA can do so much better than what WWE can do, because TNA needs to be different, I believe. I agree with anyone on here who's ever said that. TNA needs to be different than WWE. That's what made them cool for me and lots of people in the early days. Uh, 05. Oh, I loved 05. So good. Um... But lately, they've kind of backtracked on those agreements with New Japan and CMLL. CMLL, they've almost completely backed out of New Japan. They're jobbing their guys. Then again, the guy they have now, Okada, was basically a jobber in New Japan and is now doing his doing explosion matches in TNA. So, sucks for him. Uh, but what's lately been happening is that you know they're barely TNA is barely using their deal with New Japan. But they're starting to do a little bit more with AAA, and what they're basically they're sending guys like Hernandez down there. And Hernandez did get in great sh shape, and I think that's good for him to have been down there. Um, they sent, I think, I believe Beer Money and Abyss and Mr. Anderson down there for a couple shots, um, doing their thing there. And they had, you know, DNA and AAA had a relationship back in uh, 04, 05, back in the Super X and World X days, uh, back when they were bringing in guys like Hector Garza. People may not remember, but Hector Garza was mad over uh, in late 04. I mean, he got a win over AJ Styles on Impact, and he got a match with Jarrett when he was the champ. It was a crazy deal. He was getting mad over. Um... Uh, if he had won the world title, I wouldn't have minded, but that's whatever. And then a guy like Shocker, back when he was he was still with AAA, and he was doing a couple shots with Alex Shelley, which was great. Alex Shelley, you know, got to show his stuff, got to show how good he is when he was working with a guy like Shocker who had a, such a different style. Um, they really put on some clinics then. Um, but, you know, current AAA, 
and I, you know, basically AAA, you know, has transformed since the 90s. I believe the AAA of the 90s is what CMLL is now, and the AAA of today is almost like the Mexican WWE. And I, th you know, I think AAA is better at being like WWE than what TNA is. It may not be fair because they're in a different country and, you know, different audience they can be WWE and that's cool for them, but what have you. Um, but I look at, you know, what TNA is doing with this partnership and I'm like, I don't hate the AAA guys. I just think, you know, if TNA is going to try and bring AAA talent to them, what are they getting that I think separates them as much as I think their CMLL deal was? Did. That's why I think the TNA CMLL New Japan like trade triangle was beautiful, 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 beautiful. And oh yeah, Global Impact. If they ever do that again, do a Global Impact, not just at like the Tokyo Dome show. Do it in Mexico. They had that freaking Grand Prix that Alex Shelley won in '08, and they never did anything with that, which they should have, which would have been cool. That would have been that would have made TNA. You know, people loved Global Impact. Do it everywhere. Whatever, or do like a, do a DVD of one of your UK shows. What I mean, um, let's see. So, because there's CML and New Japan keep their deal, have kept their deal. AAA tends to associate with Noah when it comes to uh, Japanese talent. You know, they brought in Morishima and Shiazaki and uh, Ishimori, uh, Saito, I believe. Kent has been there a couple times for some junior matches. Um, well, and yeah, I love, I, I do love Noah and the Noah style because it reminds me of All Japan much more than the other two, than the other big two of New Japan and All Japan. And I guess Dragon Gate's pretty big too. But, you know, I, I do love the Noah style, but I, I don't necessarily want to see that coming to TNA. So I would prefer, as opposed to a TNA AAA. Noah Triangle, you know, as good as the Noah Talent are, I just think you know they're too different uh, at this point. Uh, and I think TNA can't TNA can't sell out and just go right to Pure Resu and try and win o win it over like that. But so I think go, they should be you know sticking with the team with the CML and New Japan deal because CML is such feels like such authentic Lucha Libre that when they bring it in, like when they brought in guys like Altimo Guerrero and uh, Rey Bucanero and uh, Volador and Averno uh, and then bring in some more guys. Get Mystico. He's a huge draw. Why they didn't bring him in for uh, Battle Glory 09 in California. Ah. Um... I'm running short on this video, but yes, there's CML has such that good Lucha Libre. New Japan has a Japanese style that can translate better to American audiences, I believe. So there, you can get your Japanese flavor like that. Oh, also, if TNA wants to start teaming with a British promotion, FWA, they recently got reborn. Um, I try to keep up with them as much as I can. I'm trying my best to order DVDs, but I'm having trouble uh, arranging shipping stuff. Uh, maybe that's just me being stupid. Maybe it is easy for Americans to get it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, but that's just, okay, that's part one of TNA. Th those are my thoughts on what TNA should be doing internationally, because it's these international trade deals with experienced well-groomed talent in other promotions that make it that can make it so much different than WWE. <coughs> Excuse me, and other products uh, on television for wrestling. And you know, it'll bring in different audiences, different styles. Just, just it will just feel fresh. It'll, you know, WCW did that with the uh, AAA uh, cruiserweights and um, the I believe it was mostly New Japan uh, junior heavyweights back in the 90s, and TNA could do really well with CMLL and New Japan. That's my belief on that. That is my TN aid for TNA.
Double Cross King, stay classy.